Talking to the moon Trying to get to you What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. What's going on, y'all? I hope y'all looking good, feeling good, and motherfucking smelling good. All right, Scorpios, let's get into your reading. All right, I don't know what's going to come out, but let's see. All right, all right, Scorpios, let's see what's going on for my Scorpios at this time. I hope y'all are doing good. <sighs> Lord, mm -mm -mm. okay. Um, if you guys want a reading, all of that will be right here, okay? Um, also, if you guys already have not ordered my notebook journal and my catalog, really available on Amazon or wherever you need to get it from. All right, so, damn, okay, this could be a court order. This could be the judgment, okay? Somebody has hit the gavel, like, judgment, okay? So, there is a judgment out. There's the order out. Something has out, okay? Then we got porn addiction. What the hell? Okay, so... <laughs> Um, be careful with masturbating to somebody, watching somebody, uh, thinking about somebody when you're masturbating because you're about to receive judgment. Okay. So always remember what we say, like when we be like, I won't do this or I won't do that there. You got, you, once you say something out loud, moving forward, it's a decree. And, um, before we hit Aquarius era, we used to be able to say things and the karma wouldn't hit as fast, but we're in Aquarius era now. So what we say comes back quickly. Somebody's name could be Jasmine or Palmer. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we got judgment here. Also, somebody could be judging somebody because they watching porn. You need to mind your business. Okay. People need to mind their motherfucking business. All right. Now I do want you guys to know if you guys buy into this CBD coin thing, whatever the hell. Um, they're about to introduce, they will be able to track what you watch, what you do, what you eat. It will be a different type of tracking. It was just, it will be really, really way too invasive. So be very careful about, you know, falling into this CDC, whatever the hell coin it is, and understand the difference between that coin and Bitcoin and what you're paying into. Okay. So yeah, there's judgment coming down. All right. Um, yeah, so somebody is playing games, okay? So what you don't see coming is somebody is wearing a mask, they playing games, judgment is coming down upon this person. This person could be addicted to you. Well, porn addiction, it's not really like porn that they're addicted to. It's kind of like you, okay? They addicted to you, okay? And they are wearing a mask, okay? So this person could be watching you from a fake page or something like this. Or this person just could not be like really disclosing their true feelings towards you, okay? Well, porn addiction, this person is strong strongly addicted to you sexually scorpio i don't give a fuck what this person say to you oh it's okay i don't like you like that no this is strong this is like rub your dick till it turn raw <laughs> okay this is like somebody that is like really hung up on your energy with porn addiction okay it's sideways so it's not an addiction to a porn it's really an addiction to you okay this person is receiving judgment though because they've been wearing a mask and shit okay i don't know why the police keep coming out um, this person had the opportunity to tell you the truth, but they didn't say shit. Okay. So we need to talk in reverse. It means, um, I'm going to hear what you got to say. And then whatever you got to say, I don't give a fuck. Okay. So somebody could have came to you or you could have went to somebody and had a conversation and this person did not even tell you the truth. Okay. And whoever this is, they are addicted to you. Okay. With this porn on top, we need to talk. I don't even know why. Okay. So this person wanted to make up sex. <laughs> they ain't want to talk. They want to fuck. <laughs> okay. And they're receiving judgment on that. Okay. So yeah, somebody didn't really want to come to you and talk to you, have no real compassionate conversation. They really don't want to come lay it down, down. You know what I'm saying? They want to heal it with a little TLC. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Maybe even a BLT after if you feel me. Okay. Um, yeah, this is somebody who is a clown though, bruh. Okay. Snooping through your email. So this ain't somebody who go through your shit or you're not somebody who go through their shit, but this person does go through your shit and they act a clown about things that they find out. They don't even know if it's true or not. We also got jealous friends. So whoever this is, they talk to their friends, their friends give them really fucking bad advice. This person definitely, you know, masturbates to you. It is both ways. Cause it was sideways. Now this person, you're going to talk to this person and this person ain't even gonna tell you the truth this person gonna act like a clown on your dumb ass not only that this person go through all your open shit anything that you got that's open they go through that shit they watch that shit and they make it makes this person feel inferior 
I don't know how though, you know, because snooping through your emails in reverse, this is anything that you have that's open. This person goes through that shit with a fine comb. I don't care if you don't have shit. If you don't have shit, get off this page. This ain't about you. This person suit with somebody who got shit and they going through it. Now, this person is thinking about how their friends may be giving them wrong ass fucking advice too. This shit kind of fucked up. And whoever this is, these people party with them. They drink beers with them. But I mean, people be jealous and whoever this is, they don't know that. Okay, we also got somebody doing background checks checking who you are watching up on who you do what you do stuff with okay and whoever this is they could do this in a like indirect way they could be at work all day listening to you or you know just watching what you do or just checking up on you they could do this through their friend accounts somebody used to be a nasty dancer dance down for money you do what you want me to do so somebody work at night or somebody used to be like, you know, they used to work at night. They used, used to be an exotic dancer. You got an exotic dancer that's thinking about you. They they going through all the shit that you got going on. They listening to things. You know, they could be teaming up with somebody. They could be like, you heard that or piecing shit together, okay? But this is somebody who used to be in the club. They're not in the club no more. And then we got fake friends. So somebody is thinking about how somebody is fake and they realizing that, uncovering. And this is somebody who got a lot of niggas or a lot of dudes. Now, this could be somebody who got a lot of niggas that do shit, a lot of dudes, you you know, a different dude every night or just a nigga to do different things. Like they can call him up because of like old favors they used to do when they was in the club. Okay. You know, in the club, they had like, you know, different things or different people they had sex with, but you know, it was an un understanding. Like when I need something, you give it to me and this person still live under these laws. Okay. Somebody's thinking about how somebody is just a fake friend. Like, why are you doing all this to be a fake person to this person? Like this friend could be like, you know, at first it was funny, but now it's like, you are fake like why you in this girl face or why you in this dude face okay and then they said more than one karmic okay so you know whatever this is it's something got to do with somebody who be in a nightclub all right and they thinking about all these fake friends somebody also thinking about how they really just jocking somebody and watching somebody and they really just need to be investing in what the fuck they got going on with more than one karmic this definitely is a situation where it's like this nigga that you trying to jock ain't talking to nobody, ain't stalking nobody, ain't talking to no... It's like, it's like a girl who got a good dude, but they're stalking people. And these people don't even want this nigga dick, dick, dick. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just crazy. It's like, why are you doing all this dumb shit to this person? And all this shit is fake. Okay, now you could have fake friends and these friends really fuck with people in a strip club. They could fuck with people who just, it's not the same caliber of woman or caliber of man that you got. You got something totally fucking different to what your jealous friends is trying to tell you and you can't even see this. Like, and you could tell this based off this girl history off Instagram or this dude history off Instagram or social media or their Facebook or how they carry themselves. It's nothing even fake about this person. They got real hair, real titties, real ass, real stomach, real uh, stretch marks. Everything is fucking real. And you're comparing this girl or this dude to somebody who be fucking with people who be in a nightclub and ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just... It's just a different caliber. And it might not even be the nightclub. It could be like a person with an education versus a person with an education. A street person, a street person versus somebody who, you know what I'm saying, is a blue collar worker. A blue collar worker who didn't go to school versus somebody who went to school, went to an Ivy League college. Like it's like something like that. But you cannot look at stupid ass shit like that. You gotta look at somebody's soul. You gotta look at somebody's characteristics, they traits, who raised them, how they're raised, and then the like it ain't even about how they raised either because the way that people raise us is why we love the way we love you know some of us need dysfunctional parents so that we understand what we should not be accepting okay so everything has a reason under the sun all right but somebody is just thinking like why am i taking advice from people who don't even got what i want who ain't moving where i'm moving who ain't doing what i'm doing you need to ask yourself that because you sound kind of stupid if you accept the advice from somebody who's doing that and that is what's going on here somebody is like yeah man why am i being influenced by somebody who don't even have good friends good characteristics good traits like that's not the smart that's not that's not wise okay yeah somebody is realizing that the time is running around scorpio you don't know this but there is some money motherfucking coming to you hold tight man positive mindset gonna keep you right I mean, you're going to manifest exactly what you want. And you got a lot of gratitude. You're going to have a lot of reasons to be grateful, okay? You're going to be swimming in cash, bro. Okay, this could be crazy. You could not even imagine that your life was going to be like this. But I'm telling you, it is. So hold tight. 
You almost out of there, all right? All right, Scorpios, let's go to the tarot. I never do really tarot unless I say I'm doing tarot and I'm doing tarot. So let's see what Scorpios need to know at this time. Okay, that's a lot. Oh, see, the Korean girl. Now, I tell you guys all the time. Now, the Korean girl ain't been out here for a minute. You know, she's been chilling. You know, I don't know where she went. But she out here today, you know, and it's really good to see her. You know, it's really good to crown a reading with this big-ass mansion. Okay, so Scorpio, you got a windfall of abundance. And it's because of wise counsel. You know, you always got to be grateful for who the fuck you be listening to. You be like, Ashley, man, I be fucking with you, you know, because you don't just be dropping gems. You be letting us know where to put our dollars to. And I mean, tarot is great, but it's if you ain't using it for financial gain, what the fuck is this love connection? This general hospital, like what's going on? You know, but we got to have that drama, you know what I'm saying? But we really need to see these Korean people in this motherfucker. Like what's up? Okay. You do got a new opportunity that's coming to you. Cause somebody see that you be doing it. You know, you be, you be helping out and shit. They like that shit. They go, they want to give you a little something for that. Okay. Now, you got a lucrative contract that's coming to you, so you're going to get a lot of money for this. This could be one of the biggest contracts you ever received in your life. But, you know, don't be like, oh, my, you know, don't be screaming or not. You be like, yeah, man, I could do that for that. That's, that's, I could do that for that, okay? This is going to be huge, okay? This is going to make sure that you could buy something that you want, a legitimate option, a vehicle, or maybe even a home, okay? You could be having somebody worry, okay? Somebody out here worry this motherfucker. Okay, somebody shaking. I don't know if somebody all summers or what, but somebody is worried. They up all night. They thinking about what you doing. They mad as fuck that you walk into this mansion and you got all these opportunities. Somebody mad. Somebody bitter. Somebody in your energy. Like, who is this? Okay, so somebody is just wanting the worst for you. You know, they wishing the worst for you. They expecting the worst for you. They want bad outcomes. This person stayed up late at night thinking about you. Okay, they need to refocus their thoughts. Ooh. Yeah, this person ain't this this person don't they don't believe in magic. I don't know who the fuck this they can't be your friend, okay? Whoever this is, they worried about you, they mad as fuck that you got this money, you got this opportunity, you going to this big ass mansion. I don't know where you going, but this is nice. This is somebody's house that's amazing. <laughs> okay, they like, man, we want to invite you. You like, you want to invite me? I don't know where you going, Scorpio, but I'm talking about this is a nice neighborhood. This is in the middle of nowhere. They inviting you, they like, man, you they want you to come, man. And this is gonna be really good. Now, there is somebody out here that hate this. Yes. They don't know why you getting all this goddamn attention. They hate this shit, man. This is somebody who can't manifest nothing. They hate you. They coming at you. I hate to be coming at y'all like this after I just told y'all you and y'all gonna be doing good with this Korean girl. But all this shit came out at the same time. Whoever this is, they mad as fuck. This shit is taking off for you. Hell yeah, they mad that your hard work is doing something. Somebody is mad. This could be a cancer. This is somebody who's weak about this shit. They weak about these opportunities you get and they mad as fuck. They got them up at night. Whoever this is, they watching you late at night. Damn, this person, man. Ooh, okay, this hate is too much. The only card that you got up here is that somebody is straight up worried about your opportunities and how your life is going in a really good direction. But because this person is hating on you so much, all they good energy is going towards you. They ain't got no good energy coming in. This person could lose their job they could get laid off with no fucking pay all their money could get stolen out of the damn bank account this person just feel fucked up while they just see you winning out here and they mad about this shit somebody is mad somebody is mad because you going to a mansion somebody is mad because you being invited to a very beautiful place this person whoever this is they take care of their yard you know, they got, a, I mean, their yard is immaculate. This is really nice. You got great shit. We just going to focus on you. Okay. It says rewards come from hard work. So you got a lot of great hard work, success coming to you, balance and everything you determine. You got strong willpower. People recognize that, man. Somebody just coming out here like, hey, man, I just want to bless you. I just want to set you up real good. You like, damn, I didn't know you going to do me like that. But you're going to hold it in though. Like whatever this is, you're going to be so, I mean, it's, it's going to feel like if, if you just got, if you just lost your job, this is going to give you hope that, that, that you lost your job for a reason. If somebody just broke your heart, this, this lucrative contract is going to give you so much joy. Like, damn, this person just broke my heart just so I could feel this joy of just understanding that, hey, maybe it shit happened for a reason because I really want to put a lot of work into this. I really want to put a lot of effort into this. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, you could be bringing yourself together with these people because maybe all these people's heart was broken, but they got a really big heart. So they see that heart was broken and they just want to bring you in and hug you. You know, these could be friends. This could be colleagues. This could be people that you ain't even know you was going to be eating bread with, but they love you indirectly. And, and they may have discussed you or talked about you or talked about just expanding something in your life, but they inviting you, man. Let's, let's look at the Korean 
king girl okay so this is a windfall of money wise counsel good fortune expecting a great career opportunity a lucrative contract man you could have a pet bunny i swear to god this girl got a pet bunny this don't even make no sense okay and it also says significant purchase with your home or a vehicle so somebody could be helping you buy a car that you ever always wanted or a vehicle you always wanted you like wow this is crazy and this is somebody who take a lot of wins I'm talking about a lot of wins. Whoever this is, they be winning all the time. You like, damn, you just, ooh. Bottom of the deck, what you don't see coming is the empress. Now, somebody do want to put a baby with you, or you could be a baby mama, or you could have a baby. You could be a dad with a kid, but somebody see you. They see you. And with this Empress energy, they also want to put a baby in you. You know, somebody really want to take action. They want to really just you, just bless your dreams. They really do. They feel like you work so hard. You have so many creative projects that you got going on. You real successful. You could really like waffle cones, okay? And you just have abundance. Abundance then came out here twice. And what you don't see coming is somebody want to build abundance with you. They want to have it all with the Empress, okay? You got a castle. You going to get you a prince. You be working hard. People feel like you a unicorn. They don't even know how you be doing all this shit but you do it here with elegance grace class dignity respect you know you still even take care of your whole team like whoever this is they take care of their whole team okay and it do look like it's overwhelming but this person still finds time to smile and they went through a lot of pain like whoever this is they turn their pain into like blessing people this is so dope this is amazing scorpio y'all gotta let me know about this one in the comments <laughs> Everything we go through in life is for a reason. So they say. I feel like it's true though. You know what I'm saying? Tony. Work on your mind, better elevate your grind in time. Sometimes you need to rewind. Look at all that shit you've been through and let that shit be your motivation. For the chances you take. Everybody got something to say and speak as if they 